Decades after one of the city's most high profile murders, federal investigators say police arrested the wrong guy. Michael Anderson was accused of shooting five teens in Central City back in 2006, but federal prosecutors say he was not the one responsible. And instead, they're pointing the finger at Telly Hankton, a man who's been called the crime boss of New Orleans. WDSU News reporter Travis Mackle is here with what this means for Anderson, who was first charged for this. Well, most likely nothing because his convictions were vacated years ago, but the fact the feds now say Hankton is the trigger man could prove detrimental at his upcoming murder trial. On this quiet Central City street corner today, no one wanted to talk about the killing that happened almost a decade ago. It's always been rumored that reputed crime boss Telly Hankton could be involved, and now the feds believe that's true. In a federal filing before Hankton's June murder trial in federal court, the feds say they believe he pulled the trigger on an assault rifle, killing five teens. Prosecutors want to use that information against Hankton, even though he's never been charged with the murders. Legal analyst Robert Jenkins. Uh, the people within the criminal justice community had all, always heard that he committed those crimes. There was rumors out there. It was even brought up in Michael Anderson's case that he had done this. It was dubbed the Central City Massacre. Five teens gunned down at the corner of Josephine and Daniil in June of 2006. The killings prompted then Governor Kathleen Blanco to send the National Guard back to the city. Within days, Michael Anderson was arrested and later convicted of the killings and sentenced to death. That conviction was later vacated due to problems with how prosecutors handled the case. Anderson, a drug gang leader, later pleaded guilty to another unrelated murder and drug charges and is currently serving a life sentence. Back in 2011, Anderson's lawyer said his client did not shoot anyone in Central City. Hankton's lawyers do not want the new allegations from prosecutors mentioned at his June trial. They cannot discuss the matter as there's a gag order in place in this case. Hankton was deemed New Orleans' most dangerous criminal by Mayor Mitch Landrieu and Police Chief Ronald Surpass back in 2011, running an alleged drug ring through Central City.